Okay, children, it's now time for your arithmetic this afternoon or whenever you're completing this. Um, so like every week, we're going to practice our arithmetic skills. Okay, children, first things first, we need to warm up our maths brains so that we are ready for our arithmetic practice this afternoon. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to head on over to the YouTube link that I've left on the screen for you and you are going to be warming up your maths brains. Now Jack Hartman, he's one of our favourites at St Anne's and um, in today's maths warm up, he's going to be taking you through your twos, fives and ten times tables. He's going to be doing them both forwards and backwards. And also he's got some really, really fun little movements to go with that as well. So you'll be getting your body and your brain moving as you engage with the video. And this should hopefully get you ready to practice your arithmetic skills in a few minutes time. OK, so children, you may pause the video and head on over to Jack Hartman. OK, everyone, so this is today's arithmetic practice. Now, don't worry if you haven't got the worksheet, that's absolutely fine. All you'll need to do is write the numbers and then write the answers down on your piece of paper or whatever you've got to write with. OK, so also in today's lesson, I just wanted to remind you that this is independent work. So please do it as independently as you can. OK, you will be surprised about how much you know and how much you remember because all of the things that are in this arithmetic practice today are things that we've done over the previous few weeks of being in year two. OK, so you might have to think back to when we were doing addition and subtraction or think back to when we were using um, these symbols. And really, really think about what you remember, because this is mixed maths today. OK. So just before you begin, I did want to just touch on a few things for you. OK, so, for example, we'll just touch on two things. So in today's arithmetic practice, you'll need to know what each of these symbols mean. OK, so let's just go to the middle one. First of all, the equal to symbol. So that just means that numbers are the same on both sides. OK, so they're both equal to each other. OK. Um, if we've got the more than symbol, all it means is if I was to draw these numbers. Oh, it's not letting me draw. <laughs> there we go. If I was to draw those two numbers, you would know that 10 is more than nine. Because remember, with that symbol, uh, the bigger side is always or the open side is always pointing to that bigger number. OK. And the smaller side, so the point, is always on the smaller number. OK, so for example, in this example, 8 is less than 10. Can you see the 8 is smaller than 10, so it's near the pointy side. OK, now also something else to just remember before you um, before you get started with your arithmetic practice. If I had the number 28, for example, and I wanted to partition it into two numbers, then I would do this, wouldn't I? I would partition one of my sides into 20 and the other into 8. OK, now, if it's asking us to uh, figure out the value of a number, um, it might underline it like this. OK. And if we were looking at what the value of that number is in 28, what do you think it would be if we were looking for the value of just this number? Excellent. Well done. If you said it would be worth eight, because remember, it's eight ones. So if we were to draw our tens and ones frame, we would see that we, it's just worth eight ones, isn't it? OK, if the other number was underlined instead, so if the 20 was underlined instead or the two was underlined, then that would be worth 20, wouldn't it? Because it's two tens, which is equal to 20. OK, so 
these are just some top tips for you some things that might appear in today's um in today's arithmetic practice and something which we've not really looked at in quite a long time so i thought i'd just refresh your memory for you and um get you thinking about those things before we begin Okay, everybody, there's only one thing left to do, and that is off you go. So children, you may now stop the video and start your arithmetic practice. I hope you get on okay, and good luck, everybody. Please put into practice all of the things that you've learned over the course of year two. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.